right now, on the average, from this is a Mayo Clinic study came out in 2009. They said that as many as 30 percent, 30 people out of 100 in America now have celiac disease and have trouble absorbing nutrients. And as a result, there's people with 25 legitimately diagnosed diseases, which are all nutritional deficiency diseases. They're going to 18 different specialists for all this, and they're paying you know tens of thousands of dollars a day to deal with this, and simply a gluten intolerance and they can't, their intestines are damaged, they can't absorb nutrients. Well, when you can't digest wheat, barley, round oat glutens, and you absorb these big chunks of what's called polypeptides, your body recognizes and uh, sets up an intolerance to those partially digested proteins, you get gluten intolerance, you get celiac disease, or bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulitis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, the doctor's approach to these diseases are cut your intestines out. I can't understand how they, you know, you have a malabsorption problem, they want to cut your intestines out. That's really dumb. But at any rate, because they have you on a salt-restricted diet, you cannot make stomach acid, so your pepsin won't work, and you cannot digest proteins, including the protein of wheat brought around oats. Now, again, there's a big research project come out in 2009 that said, uh-oh, it used to be people got celiac disease when they were kids. And if you recognize it, you can save them from all these terrible diseases. Because you can get them off of gluten and they'd be fine. Well, now people who could eat gluten with impunity, they were really big on eating wheat, barley, round oats, no problems. And suddenly now at age 50 or 60, they become gluten intolerant. Well, that's because over the years on a salt-restricted diet, they couldn't digest wheat, barley, round oat glutens down to their simplest amino acids. Big chunks called polypeptides are being absorbed. They set up an intolerance to it. And now at age 50, 60, we have 80 out of 100 people with gluten intolerance because of this criminal advice to restrict salt.